In the last five years, more than 400 people have died in various landslide accidents in Kerala. Why is it that this is happening repeatedly? In 2011 and 2013, two panels which studied this issue reported that the primary reason for these landslides is the illegal encroachment, rampant illegal commercialization okay. uh, and illegal mining and quarrying that is taking place in all of these very eco-sensitive western ghat zones in Kerala. These recommendations, the, these reports recommended to the state government to clear these encroachments and stop these illegal activities. Nothing was done. Successive state governments rejected the recommendations of these reports. In 2020, Kerala State Disaster Management Authority also recommended evacuation of 4,000 families which were illegally encroaching certain eastern slopes of the western ghats in Vainad. Right. Nothing was done. In 2021, Kerala's forest minister admits on the floor of the house that the reason why they are unable to clear these illegal encroachments is pressure from political groups and religious organizations. In other words, it is vote bank politics that is the cause okay. for non-removal of these illegal encroachments and the rampant commercialization and mining and such other activities which has led to this man-made disaster in Kerala today. Well, you just heard uh, Tejasvi Surya, BJP MP, he said that this was a man-made disaster. Now, this comes in the backdrop of center versus state blame game over warnings sent to the state. Home Minister, in fact, spoke in uh, the uh, both houses of the parliament yesterday. He issued a statement stating that center had, in fact, issued a warning to Kerala government beforehand. And accordingly, nine battalions of NDRF had been dispatched to the state almost a week before the landslide struck. Now, Amit Shah also uh, went on to add that further warnings were subsequently issued but Kerala Ch uh, Chief Minister has refuted uh, the claims that have been made by Amit Shah and asserted that rain alerts, landslide alerts and river flow alerts were all either late or insufficient. Tejas July ko Kerala Sarkar ko early warning Bharat Sarkar ki or se de gai di gai di. Phir 24 go gai फिर 25 को गई 26 तारीख को मान्यवर ए कहा गया कि 20 सेंटीमीटर से ज्यादा वर्षा होगी भारी वर्षा होगी लैंडस्लाइड होने की संभावना है मगर भारत सरकार की अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम पर सवाल किए गए इसलिए मैं कहता हूं प्लीज लिसन अस प्लीज लिसन अस मत चिल्लाइए प्लीज रीड इट दुरंतम ഉണ്ടാകുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് ഒരു തവണ പോലും ആ പ്രദേശത്ത് Red alert Nalgi Tendai Nila. Julia Irivati Munamudal, Irivatan Budwareila, Uru Divasam Bodu, Kendra Jala Commission, Irivadini Purairo, Chari Arlo, Pralaya Munaripu, Poropovichitilla. About Parliamental Parana Guiding Alert, Vastuda Virida Maya Guiding Light under Virida. Well, Times have confronted Kerala Revenue Minister K. Rajan over the centre's claim that early warnings were ignored, but the minister refused to answer the question and chose to walk away. Have a look. A little bit of politics that's playing between the centre and the state of Kerala. Today in the parliament, the union home minister no, I, said I'm that, not, you know, I'm they not were ready to speak anything about because the Kerala government is only one name like to save the people and uh, create this issue. I can't, but I, I'm not, I'm not, saved if, I am you know, not, I am not, I am not, I am not ready given. to say anything. We can speak. What do you think, think no, about no, the statement no, from no, the union home minister? No, sir. no, I don't, I, I, I don't like to say anything, I don't say anything my colleague Deepak joins me on the phone line. Deepak, uh, you confronted the Kerala Revenue Minister, but we see the blame game has started between the central and the state government. You clearly asked a tough question to the uh, minister, but he chose to walk away. Give us more details. Yes, even as uh, rescue operations, of course, continue in full swing, uh, there is also a question mark that arises about, uh, you know, uh, warnings that were given to the people at the landslide up, up prone areas, whether they could have been evacuated, whether more lives could have been saved. Well, yesterday, when I spoke to several people, uh, you know, who were at the landslide, who were rescued, they too say that many of them didn't receive the warning. Some of them who received it uh, were told that there would be heavy rain. 
uh, and many of them didn't actually adhere to the warnings as well. Now, while we try to, of course, ask the minister this question about clearing the air about whether they were in the know-how that, they, you know, there was a landslide warning and heavy rainfall warning and that was given by the centre, he says he refuses to answer these questions at this point in time. And, uh, you know, uh, rescue operations is the only thing that he wants to take forward. Uh, thank you, Deepak, for all these inputs. We'll keep coming back to you for more on this. Meanwhile, we're taking a short break. We'll be right back with more news and updates. Stay with us.